I've tried to record this damn intro like six times. I don't care how many, how many mistakes I make on this one. This is it. Damn it. Stop. <laughs> and of course I fucking hiccup. So this series is about talking to artists and I, I have three main questions for them, which is what project are you working on right now? This, this past week, this past week, that's number one. Number two is this past week. Uh, what successes did you have? And number three, this past week, what failures or stumbles did you have on these on that project or these projects? I would love to hear from you. Um, <clears throat> if you have the Anchor app, you can actually record a message with the app and send it to me. Just like seriously, answer those three questions. I want to hear it. I might play it on my next J Prime cast and maybe even address it if you're okay with that. I'm not assuming you want to hear about my thoughts, but I'll give them to you. Um, or DM me on Instagram. I'm, I'm, I feel like these three questions are kind of important. So again, number one, what were your projects you were, you were working on this past week? Number two, what successes have you had with those projects this past week? And number three, what failures did you have with those this past week? Or what do you need to work on? Um, yeah, so hopefully people will submit. I really, really want to hear about it. And on to the podcast. Hey, brother. Hey, what's going on? Jonathan, how you doing, man? Oh, not too bad. How are you? I'm all right. Do you have it up to your ears and speak? Yeah, I'm on speaker. All right. Is it working out okay for you? Yeah. All right, cool. My, it's For some reason, it kind of like takes a while to kick in for me, but whatever. Um, I like how you put, um, I'm ready for this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll just do a brief intro about what this is, if you're ready to roll. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Um, so you, I believe you listened to my uh, episode one of my J Prime cast. And that's really my attempt to kind of take my own artistic inventory. I'm oh, sorry. Hang on a second. I got to take these damn uh, rubber bands out of my braces. Yeah. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. All right, um, so that, that's just kind of me holding myself accountable and what you know. That's that's the idea, really. Um, right. And so I, I like to have what I'm realizing is I like to talk to other artists and see kind of where, where they're at on their own projects, and um, kind of go through the same process. I, I think it's kind of a fun conversation to have. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that is why you're here, my friend. So t- uh, tell me. I don't want this to be like a formal interview at all. I'd rather just kind of like talk with you. I'm really curious about you, you know, and, and, and what you're doing. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what's going on, man. Who, who are you? You know, where are you from? What are you working on? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm from Kansas. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, currently, I'm working on a graphic novel. I mean, it's still in the very early stages. So I'm not much of a writer. So it's uh, something very new to me, but uh, it's called the bloodletting, and I guess it's the, bl- the bloodletting. Correct. Yeah. Okay. It's um, I guess it's a vampire werewolf type deal to begin with, and it, it kind of goes off into other stuff later, but um, it's uh, an action horror. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at your Instagram right now. <clears throat> um, you're a dad, though, huh? I am. I have two kids. So, so you, yeah, you and I are in a very similar boat. I, I'm really interested in that as well, like, being a father, and you, you, you I, was, I said I was ready to go, and you were like, I'm putting my kid to sleep. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, just that whole, you know, balancing what we do with childhood. Do you have a job as well? Like a real oh, job? yeah. Yeah, I have a full-time i'm welder actually oh shit all right yeah i work full-time too and then i have the kids two kids and then uh i do the best i can with the art stuff yeah that's it's a it's a pretty tough balance how are you so do you how do you feel like you're doing with the balance um i could do better i think but you know right now with uh you know my my daughter's six months old so um a lot of time um you know it's well worth it but 
yeah you know, puts puts the art on the back burner for sure uh yeah especially when they're that young and you said you have a i think you told me you have like a 10 year old right yeah so yeah, you yeah. were you, you were like i have an eight-year-old and, I, and she's pretty independent if it was oh, yeah. if it was just the one kid i'd have a lot more art time but i have a two-year-old also and so i know like when they're really young like a newborn age you know uh, yeah infant like it's completely time consuming oh yeah and just just every moment you got to be doing something you know yeah yeah they're, they constantly need something yeah yeah i remember with uh, when my son was born um that's when i realized how valuable my time was right yeah <laughs> you know what i mean like for some reason with with the daughter we made it work i don't know what it was but once i had the second kid and i was yeah. like constantly that's when i realized like my time is so thin and, yep. and that what i do has to count and that's when i started working on uh, my comic was a couple of years ago and yeah i started taking it seriously and because it was like if, if i'm gonna use my time for drawing and it was like 20 minutes at a time here and there you know yeah uh, yeah it, you know so that's when i realized like it really hit me you know yeah i i think it's, it's the same way with me really it wasn't until uh, my second kid, I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, uh, I have no time. You know, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. You know, and it's, I just, just recently started taking my art more seriously. Yeah, trying to get myself out there and do something with it because, you know, I've drawn my whole life, but I don't know. There was personal reasons and things that it got pushed back and you know i i basically stopped drawing for 10 years oh, almost wow. so that's a long ass time yeah it, it really is because i'm i'm 33 and i didn't start picking it back up until my until i was about 30 so you know i went from so it's only been yeah. the past few years, and really, yeah, yeah, damn. And I, I just started Instagram too, so uh, less than a year ago, and that's when I really started taking it, taking it serious. It yeah, you're, you're right. I just scrolled to the bottom of your Instagram. It did not take very long. Wow. Yeah, I'm not, I think you know. I think in that short amount of time, I've grown quite a bit. I've uh, learned a lot. Yeah. Um, and I think the community on Instagram has really helped. You know, you got a lot of people uh, being really supportive, you know. They are, yeah. And that that definitely helps. I'm looking at, um, there's a picture of you holding your, uh, your your baby. Like, I don't know how, how old they were at that point, but that was really young. Yeah. And you, you're drawing on your iPad. I, I have a picture like that of what yeah. done. I have a picture just like that. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, so you have. Um, I really want to ask you. There's. You're you're a talented artist, but there's this one image of a dude sitting on a, ch a throne. Yeah. With like wooden, uh, with like a wooden floor beneath. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah the the one that's all just all lines and stuff. It's just black and white. Know? There's there's like some circle thing behind him. Yeah, it's like a clock tower. I'm really curious about that. Dude. Like that was all you? Well, yeah. I mean, it was. It was. Uh, that one's a recreation, actually. Okay. Uh, okay. It's of. It's from a video game. Uh, okay. Bloodborne. And it's. It was just me looking off of it, a, a CG picture. Wow. It was me trying to do it in a completely different style. It, right. It, it sticks out from the rest of what you have. And it's really like, it's mind blowingly. I love the detail of it. It must have taken an incredible amount of patience, man. Yeah. It was, it was pretty ridiculous. It, it took a long time. How did you do that? Because I, I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really don't. Like, I want to move on to the next thing. You know, I don't know. If, but with with issue three, I, I really want to focus on details. So I don't, yeah. do you have any kind of like marathon drawing? Because it looks like you 
this was not a sprint. It was like a marathon. Yeah, it, it really was. Um, I don't know, man. It was because with the, the art prior to that, I mean, there's, to me, there's a handful, if that, of pieces that I've done since I started my Instagram that I was proud of. Mm. The rest of them kind of meh, mm. you know, just not really something that I could, you know, be like, yeah, that's, that's yeah. my stuff. Yeah. Um, so when I started that piece, I was like, I want to get this exactly how I want it. And mm. I just kept that. I just kept that in my mind. I was like, and every time I try to speed up the process, I tell myself, stop, slow down. It's not, you know, it's, it's worth the end. Mm. The, the, the final product will be worth it. And it, it turned out to be so. Yeah. And it really I did. got, a, I got a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of support at the end of it too. Um, which was really cool. You know, I was, for me, Instagram was like, you know, I was trying to put something out there every day or, you know, you know, constantly. Yeah. yeah. And to try to get my name out there. And I think that was part of my problem is I wasn't putting enough time into things. Mm. And I wasn't getting the, the outcome I wanted and not just artistically, but also people coming to my page and, and, and seeing my work. Yeah. That's not, so, it's, that's not easy though. Man. Oh, it's, it's definitely, definitely not. Especially I, I found like, especially like doing my own original content, my, yeah. my interaction plummets when I do my own, my own stuff versus oh, yeah. if, I, if I draw venom, I'll get tons of interaction. But if I draw soldiers, you know, like, it plummets. Yeah. Yeah. It is an uphill battle. Fan art definitely, definitely does better than anything else. Yeah. But are you, you know, I, go ahead. I hope to change that on my own page eventually, you know, with my own art. I hope to get out of that. Yeah. Or maybe people will recognize my original stuff more than just fan art that that'd be incredible wouldn't it yeah you have um, your follower count is under 500 are you finding yeah. are you finding the people that are following you there's a more of a tight-knit group like you're actually building better connections um yeah i think so i mean there's you know there's a handful of of people that interact with anything and everything i do and yeah you know, it's, it's not, I don't, I'm not sure how many there is 450 people aren't interacting with my stuff. It's, it's a much smaller uh, group, but that group is always there. They're yeah. always supportive, which is, is awesome. That's all I need, yeah. you know, is that handful of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree. I love it. It pisses me off that I have no idea who my people, my followers are, right? My fans. Yeah. <laughs> like there, there's, I, there's, there's always been like people I see regularly. And I think more recently there's been people that have been interacting with me in a different, on a different level, you know, cause I've been kind yeah. of doing more processy and more personal kind of bent to it. Um, yeah. But for the most part, I have no idea who these people are. I just bug the hell out of me. Oh yeah. And it's, well, I, I feel that, more than half of them are ghost followers you know they're they're never there you never see yeah. them you never yeah hear from them. That's, uh, not, that's not a feeling dude they, they definitely are ghost followers because i downloaded this app to tell me that kind of stuff and they are ghost followers they're just I, you know they, they just i don't know why but they don't heart anything they don't comment they don't like nothing yeah i, I don't know if they log in or if they're dead i <laughs> like a bother yeah. i want to know i, I want to know they're still alive at least you know Right, right. All right, so all right, I, I want to put you to the. Uh, I don't know what I'm calling this. Maybe like a little challenge here, a artistic inventory challenge. 
where you kind of yeah. take stock of where you're at and where you need to grow. You, you ready for this or what? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. What, so you, you, first off, what is your, do you have like a bigger goal in mind? You mentioned kind of uh, having some sort of direction, but what, do you know what that direction is? Um, well, you mentioned in, in particular, you want people to know your stuff right off the bat versus if you drew like Spider-Man or Venom or something. Right. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously I would love to have my, you know, be published. Oh, um, have- you know, once I, you know, whether whether or not it's self-published, I guess that doesn't matter. Nah. Uh, just as long as I can get physical copies of, of a book, you know, have my artwork out there. Yeah. Um, not just not just my artwork, but you know, my my song, my story mm. is inside that you know that I want to put into the book. Gotcha. I like that. All right, so you want to get your stuff in print. You don't care if it's through like Kickstarter funding or through Image Comics, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in the same boat as you. It didn't. I mean, I, yeah, I don't think it matters a whole lot to me. But it's, it's like I want the people that are into Sculpture Stories or Astro Pig. I want them to own it. You know, to, yeah. to be able to hold it. You know that like that's really important to me. Otherwise, I could, I could care less. Yeah, that that. I think having those physical copies yeah. is is something special. You know, what's funny, what, what's kind of funny to me is that I really want that for the people that want it, but I never buy anybody's comic books. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm horrible about that too, man. Do you buy stuff, or you don't buy stuff? I don't. No, you don't have to. Ra- rarely do I like even, you know, the the stuff that I've been into since I was a kid, you know, yeah. the X-Men, whatever, I don't, I don't hardly buy anything. It's, it's hard to find space, let alone the money. Right. 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 So, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm horrible about that, but no, I, I love I, other people to be. There's no shame in that. I'm, I'm the same way. I don't want to store this stuff anywhere. I don't want to spend the money on it. It adds up pretty quick. Yeah. All right. Anyhow. All right. So, we have your overall goal. What is the project that you let's think about this past week? What project should you have at least have been working on? Well, it would be my graphic novel. Definitely. Right. What progress did you make on that this week? Uh, not a whole lot, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, anything at all? Any, huh? Huh? Anything at all? Uh, I've been doing the cover art for well the past month almost now, but oh, <clears throat> you know I'm I'm trying to take the I'm trying to learn new techniques that I want to incorporate into my art. So a lot of this past month has been you know studying other people's techniques mm-hmm. um, and trying to really teach myself these things um things that aren't necessarily natural to me i guess <clears throat> any any examples you can think of well like okay like using you know i i do lines every, well most comic book artists do hatching yeah to incorporate shadow right. um there's do you know who Bernie Wrightson is? I'm yeah. sure. No, I don't think so. Um, it's, he was a well. He just passed away last year, but he was a com- uh, comic book artist. He did. Uh, What's his last name? Wrightson. R like W R or R W R I G H. Okay, Bernie Wrightson comic. Okay, he does like horror uh, stuff. Yeah, he does horror stuff, but he yeah. uses. Oh wow! He, he doesn't just use that hatching for shadow. He uses it for motion and movement. Mm-hmm. Like it's almost like you can feel the picture moving. Yeah. yeah. And I kind of, you know, I want to incorporate that into my own work. Okay. Just because it gives it gives a still picture feeling. This guy's amazing. I, I I know his name at all. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
So, all right, well, how do you know when you're done then? How do you know when you're ready to incorporate it? Um, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I, I've actually been trying to incorporate that in my cover picture. That makes you know, sense. I'm... What's up? That makes sense. Like you want to go that extra mile for the cover? Yeah, exactly. And I want, you know, I'm, I've been trying to do it. I'm not definitely not at the level that I want to be but I think it's it's good to have something there whether or not it's it's what you want it exactly what you want it to be you got to push on yeah and sometimes you have to I guess find that balance of when it's time because I could I could take a year two years to learn this properly you know yeah do I want to let that set on my shelf until I learn it properly? No, I'll just do what I can do right? and push on and hope the next one will be better and the next one will be even better. You know? Yeah. But it, but it also sounds like you're kind of slowing down because you don't feel like you're at a point yet where you want to make it official, like put the pen, you know, uh, ink on paper. Right. That, that is true too. You know, no, I'm, I'm the same way right now with, um, I was, I've been practicing fundamentals and trying to learn those um, with values and anatomy and whatnot. And I don't feel like I'm nearly good enough to, to put it into practice, but at the same time, people spend like fucking lifetimes on this shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like exactly. years and years and schooling and whatnot. So it's like, what am I going to do? I keep waiting and waiting. I don't think it'll ever be good enough. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same way there too. I don't. Yeah. I don't feel so much. just value in like, trial by fire you just go at it you know yeah there's definitely value there i think yeah i I know with issue three my my goal to challenge myself is to really go heavy on backgrounds and i have zero confidence or uh focus targeted practice on backgrounds i've incorporated them into my other issues but it's very i didn't go heavy in it you know yeah yeah so my my goal is to go heavy into it for issue three, but I'm, I'm not ready for it. I'm just going to kind of do it, you know? Right. Yeah. See what happens. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you got to do. <laughs> All right. So then that's kind of, that's your stumble. That's a stumbling block for you with getting this thing going. Right. Yeah. That's. All right. All right so we, we've identified your, kind of progress you made but really the other goal the other um project you're working on is just improving your skill and it sounds like you you know what you want it to look like yeah yeah i have i have definitely have a vision you know do you do you feel like this past week that you've made progress with that with that skill building um yeah absolutely i mean like i said it's not it's nowhere near what i want it to be but i've i've learned things you know i've i've been able to put put it at least a little bit onto the paper um yeah so yeah i mean i think i've i've made progress and i've learned something so all right um all right so the stumbles i call them stumbles i guess it's just kind of like push yourself to move forward and just kind of get, get going i guess yeah. that'd be a good way to put it all right so what successes have you had this past week on either the comic or your skill building? Uh, well, the successes, huh? Yeah, well, you, you said you did feel like you made improvement. Yeah, I mean, um, I've, I've learned what doesn't work. <laughs> My eraser has come in handy, so... <laughs> <laughs> um definitely definitely learned what happened you know what doesn't work quite as well you know there's certain techniques or certain directions that just just don't go together okay. so you know that's that's definitely something that i've learned there's a lot of value in that man like knowing what doesn't work. And so do you share that with um, your followers? Usually I don't, you know, I'm, I'm actually really horrible at social media. 
<laughs> I'm really. What do you mean? I'm horrible at social, being social. Period. So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. And social media has has been very difficult to try to, you know, I I guess basically what you're doing is promoting yourself, and I'm really bad yeah. about that too. It does. Oh, that's that's really hard. Yeah, when you when you look at it that way, it's it's really uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it really is. No, yeah, I agree. I agree. I I know I I have felt like that before, and it's I just feel like a dick when I'm you know coming from that direction. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's just it's not, it's totally uncomfortable, unnatural. I'm a more of an introvert naturally. Yeah. So hyping myself up like that, it's you know it just it's not a good fit for me, you know. Right. I agree. All right. So well, so but you but you want to use social media? You are using it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd I'd love to be better at it. I'd love to be able to put it, you know, be consistent. I guess. <clears throat> but well, yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, yeah, being consistent. Yeah, but that that's just like the mechanical aspect of it. It's more of like what do you want to get out of it. So I I recently realized that I really want to connect with my followers. I hate I hate that word. Uh, my fans in a different way. Even saying fans like it feels weird. Just the people that enjoy my artwork. I want to connect with them in a different way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's that's my overriding goal right now is is to you know stuff like this or um, interviews on my YouTube or whatever. Like I want to connect with people on a different level. It's not about selling my artwork or anything like that. It's just right. it's just the connection aspect of it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And I that's my goal right now. Yeah, I always you know I always try to engage in every every follower that you know engages in one of my my posts you know i always try to interact and it's you know sometimes it's daunting or it's it's difficult you know i don't feel like having a conversation or whatnot but i i i want to know these these people i want to know you know what they like what they don't like you know what you know that yeah like it matters right yeah that genuinely matters to you yeah Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah, I feel the same way. That's why it drives me nuts so much when I, I don't when people aren't interacting, you know. Yeah. So it's weird that we're introverts, but we also want the interaction. Yeah. That's a. Yeah, that that is pretty weird. But, but I, I don't know about you, but well, you took a huge break from artwork, but art has always been my connection to people. I think. Yeah. Like when I when I was too shy to like talk in class or or whatever I would draw and it would kind of drop. It would bring people over to me, you know? Oh yeah, definitely. That's how it was in junior high and high school. You know, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. that's how it was. And um, I don't know, but with me, it was back then, maybe it was where I was at, but the art community itself was something completely different than what the you know what I've run into lately um mm. on Instagram. I don't know if it's just how I was looking at it then, but it was just back then it didn't it wasn't what I you know, I wasn't comfortable with how the community the art community was. Um, I don't know, just but now with Instagram, I think, you know, instead of me just seeing a smaller picture, I'm seeing more of the people with like-mindedness and, uh, you know, not, I'm not just seeing the bad, I guess. Yeah. I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Also, why don't, do you, do you feel like you share that part of yourself? Like if, if you're connected with people who are like-minded and I feel like, I want, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think you reached out to me through DM saying, Hey, like we're in a similar situation, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. What do you, so like, I'm kind of putting it out there because I, I really want to connect with people and I'm glad you reached out to me, but do you do the same thing? That sounds like, no. you know, I don't, I'm, yeah. I, I don't know. I guess I kind of feel weird doing that. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, even though I want to, it's there's there's that little voice in my head, I guess. You know. Yeah. But yeah, I totally know. I I probably I really should, you know, put myself out there and try to bring up, bring my followers and closer. You know, to yeah. interact with them more and. Like I know for for me, what what helped click recently was, I'm genuinely curious and I'm genuinely interested. Yeah, and like there's nothing wrong with that. That's not embarrassing. That's not, you know what I mean. Like that's, I, I really want to know. Yeah, like my you know their viewpoints and where they're coming from and insecurities and whatnot. You know, because I feel like I've been, I've, I've dealt with those and I feel like I'm getting better with those, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm I'm really really curious about where people are at with all that stuff and and you know with their own projects and I, I keep people keep DMing me like about insecurities or excuse after excuse after excuse of you know why they're not making progress. Right. Uh, it's, it's legitimate stuff like insecurity, anxiety, artist block. That's real stuff. I, like I'm not downplaying that. No. But uh, that whole aspect is really really interesting to me. So. I think I kind of put that out there and people are clicking with that. It seems that's, that's my best understanding of it at least, but I'm like, that's genuine. I'm, I'm not faking it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you hadn't have done that, then I wouldn't have approached you. you know? And yeah. just, just our conversations together or whatever have kind of helped me get out of my shell nice. and on, you know, social media. I've been trying to, you know, break out of that secluded you know try to be better about being social i guess yeah well you're you're at least having some successes here we're we're talking aren't we yeah i mean yeah so i mean i i don't know i think there's i'm not giving you advice or anything like that but like there is a part of you that is genuinely curious about your followers and sounds like you want to show your process and if, if 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 that's being insecure like why can't you just speak to that and be like you know I, I feel like an idiot saying this but you know here's my work on the day or whatever I don't, you know i don't know yeah you know what i mean like I, I feel like people would click with that yeah yeah and i'm i'm sure you're right <laughs> i don't know I'm not, I'm not trying to give you advice i was just thinking that <clears throat> um that like all right well what's that Ad- advice is always welcome so oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to assume i was just talking i don't want to assume that you know you give a shit <laughs> <laughs> um all right so your successes this past week you do feel like you've grown artistic like on a skill level yeah or you've made some targeted practice in that area i feel like you i mean i think you've success succeeded with um like you know you and i have talked we made a plan to do this little podcast together and to explore some of these, you know, topics. Yeah. It seems like that in and of itself is, is a success for you as well, because you want to do more with social media and deal with insecurity and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a huge step forward. Just start giving yourself some credit, dude. (laughs) (laughs) All right. um, Any other successes you can think of? Uh, Nope. Just, other than you know making it through another day successfully that is always a good thing yeah um so what when i asked you to look at those three questions how was that for you not like for me it like it forces me to be honest with myself oh yeah you know what i mean yeah it really it forces me and now, and now that i know that every week i want to do a podcast about this same topic i, yeah. I got really have to be really honest with myself and I've, I've already mentally started cutting things out because um, now I have to, now I'm holding myself accountable. That's just to myself, but to the handful of people that will listen to the podcast, you know? Yeah. So what, what, asking yourself these three questions and kind of taking your own inventory. What, how was that for you? Oh, it was, it, it was pretty difficult. Uh, yeah. Just, just because <clears throat> I don't know. The, well, I mean, we've, we've talked about it before, but, finding the the positive has always been kind of a kind of tough 
you know, you're all, I'm always looking at, you know, and you brought it up. It's actually, it's a, it's a good thing. It's, it's, but I'm always looking at my work. Like it's not good enough that I always have room to improve. And I always want to keep improving, keep learning something new and keep moving forward. That's fantastic. Yeah, and I, you know, sometimes in our heads, we don't hear it that way. We just hear it, well, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. You, I agree. Yeah, you're right. I, I think our, our conversations have helped me look at it in a whole different light. You know, like, I'm not good enough, but I could be. You know, there I could be better. Uh, so. Yeah, just, just, just add the word yet to the end of that sentence. You know, I'm, I'm not good yeah. enough yet. Yet. But and then also it's like I'm not good enough yet. And this week I made this progress. I'm yeah. focusing on these skills. Like it sounds like you are actively working on something specific, not just sticking around. Yeah, that's awesome. I find myself sticking around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we all do. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's kind of I think that's something I'm going to start focusing on is um, less sticking around. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I'm glad you answered these questions and kind of and reached out to me in the first place, but that you're willing to talk with me about this. This is um, something I want to keep doing with people. Yeah, I, I I personally enjoy, you know, listening to your podcast. So, um, and I think I think that it's a good idea for other artists like myself, you know, to to do this. It, you know, helps push them to the next level helps push me to the next level personally right on man. that's cool well the, the other thing is that you and i can build off of is that we have two children like what like like we said earlier once you have that second kid you realize yeah like how razor thin your time is and your energy and you know uh, and uh, way to... <laughs> am i right or what oh no you're absolutely right yeah it's the balance of time and energy <laughs> yes yeah exactly yeah and prioritizing stuff and whatnot um yeah. <clears throat> sorry if you, i don't know if you can hear my phone going off sorry about that oh i, uh, I did it's all good <laughs> um oh, one, okay, so one more I'm gonna kind of put you on the spot here but any um anyone that yeah i'm gonna put you on the spot so anyone that follows you that you that kind of sticks out to you this past week. Maybe they said something really nice or were extra supportive or hit you up in DMs or I don't know, whatever, but anyone that kind of sticks out to you in your, in your head. Oh man. Um, I know, I know this is difficult. Yeah. Well, I did listen to your podcast last night and actually Luke was the person that the number one ah. person, lab five. Yes. So, you know, because he's, he's always, always one of those, you that always always interacts you know yeah, yeah, yeah. uh there there is a couple other followers you know i will butcher one of his i would butcher his name if i tried to say right. but, um it's santiago something okay and i don't know he's all he's one of the ones that's always always there yeah. Yeah. So you always see him in your in your feed. Yeah. I like that. So do hey, do me a favor. I'm just, I'm making this up right now. Do me a favor. After this, I want you to hit him up and say, "Hey, I mentioned you in this podcast." Yeah. And I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I talked to. You. Cool. I I talked to Lab Five uh, last night actually. Yeah. Um, or Luke, um, and he he mentioned you in our podcast. Yeah, I I uh, actually listened to that. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, it's funny that you guys just this little trio that built here over, you know, over the past couple nights. <laughs> yeah. Um, your and by the way, your design came in second place for me for the contest. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yours these were like yeah, it's funny the way it worked out, but yeah, yours was super cool. I'm looking at it right now. I, I really like it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, fun yeah. Talking. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks for participating in that too. Oh yeah, I it was fun for sure. <sighs> All right, so make sure you hit up Santiago, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and thank him for being a great follower and build that relationship, dude. Yeah. That's my advice for you, even though you didn't ask for it. 
<laughs> I would right, any, cool. Anything else? Uh, anything else you want to say before we wrap it up? Oh uh, no, I don't think so. All right. Well, I hope you had fun, man. I really enjoyed my time with you. Yeah, me too. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Bye.